Hi everybody, this is Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Elder Scroll Online, the Gold Road expansion. So we're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we will go inside of the game. And at the end, I'm going to show you how to unlock your FPS. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, display mode, really make sure that you're playing full screen. After that, resolution, make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor. So in my case, it's 1440p. Activate your multi-thread rendering, except if you're playing on a very old computer, like a two-core, four-thread, something like that. But honestly, majority of the people, you should use that. FPS limit, I'm going to show you how to unlock this to have more than 100 FPS. After that, for texture quality, honestly, if you have 6 gb and more of VRAM, you can definitely run high, uh, medium, go at like 4 gig and less and low if you have like 2 gig and less go with low anti-aliasing if you have an rtx card i really recommend to use dlss but make sure that to use your dlss swapper and update your elder scroll game by default it's like the 2.2 version so make sure that you're using the 3.7 it will help a little bit with your visual and also for the dlss mode i really recommend to use quality balance and performance are very blurry in this game so i'm not a fan of it and honestly, I'm not a big fan of FSR. It really depends, again, if you're struggling with your FPS, maybe definitely testing it out. Uh, but for an example, with DLSS, you can gain like 14% boost in your FPS. With FSR, it's like 10%, but the game looks very blurry. So uh, I don't recommend to using it. You should definitely just use FXAA. You're going to save like 3 to 4% in your FPS. And the game looks pretty good with it. Shadow quality, I recommend to go with low. Ultra to low, you can expect 15% boost. So this one is huge on your FPS. I recommend also to deactivate your screen space reflection and planner reflection quality. Those ones will help to stabilize your FPS. And after that, you have tree slider over there. I recommend to go like maybe a quarter over there and 40 for your view distance. But now it really depends on... How many FPS do you want and what type of computer that you're using? Those ones, the particle, if you have a pretty bad CPU, you will see that you will struggling when you go higher. And view distance, you want to see in front of you. So don't go too low with this one. But again, you have uh, everything is manual over there, so you can change it by yourself. And beyond occlusion, I recommend to use the SSAO. At none, honestly, the game looks too flat to me. So this one is pretty good. If you compare it with HBA and LSAO, you're going to save 5% in your FPS. Uh, grass, go with low. Depth of field off. Character resolution, you can go medium and even high. Don't see a big difference between both, honestly. And disactivate bloom distortion, sunlight rays. And uh, the last one, it's question of preference. Honestly, sunlight rays will help you a lot with your FPS. So those three, you will gain another 6% in your FPS. So this is pretty much for the setting in game. Now I'm going to show you how to unlock your FPS in the uh, Elder Scroll Online file. So now to unlock your FPS, go to your document, Elder Scroll Online. Go to your live document. After that, open your user setting. Over there, press Ctrl F to search. Search for frame time and go to your minimum frame time over there. So by default, you will see that it's gonna be 0.01. What you need to do is depending on how many Hertz that you have on your monitor. So for an example, if you have a 144 Hertz monitor, you do one divided by 144, you're gonna see this number. 
you copy paste it and you put it over there in your minimum frame time. In my case, what I did, I have a 240 Hertz monitor. So I did one divide by 240. So this is the number that I copy paste over there. When you're done with it, you just press save and your FPS will be unlocked. Really important to understand, make sure that you, you are able to run those FPS because if you're putting 240 and you're getting like some crazy drop in your FPS because you don't have a good computer, it's not necessarily worth it. So maybe lock it at 144, something like that. But this is the way that you can do it. If you have any question about this guy, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.